Our top story, they were missing ever since the JNU controversy broke. Students accused of sedition have now resurfaced on the JNU campus, triggering a show of solidarity involving scores of students in what has been an all-night standoff. Enthusiastic protests by close to 50 students. The police has now forced, not forced itself into the campus, being stopped at the gates by the security, also claiming that they themselves will not go in. The students, who include Umar Khalid, Anirban, Ashutosh, Ram Naga and Anant Prakash say they want to court arrest peacefully and joined by their fellow students, they launched a sit-in protest. Remember, JNU student leader Kanhaya also accused of sedition is in custody at Delhi's Tihar jail. Omar Khaled, one of the students accused of sedition who has emerged addressing protesting students and said the charges against him were ridiculous and also said, this is the first time I've been made to feel like a Muslim. For the last six years when I've done politics in this campus, for the last seven years when I've done politics in this campus, I've never thought of myself as a Muslim. I've never also projected myself as a Muslim. And this thing, I thought that today, the society is not only in the society, it's not only Muslims. Allah Allah, every person is a person, a person, a person, a person, a person, a person. And we, who are the oppressed communities, the oppressed identities, there is a need for us to come out of our immediacy and to look at all of these things in a holistic manner. The first time I was a Muslim in the last seven years, and I was in the last ten days. Those people are telling us what will happen to the country. They don't understand, and I will hear say to all you fellow anti-nationals, anti-nationals of the world unite, our love for the people, our struggles, no, no boundaries, they know no borders. Across the world, all of us, we will be united. किसी भी सरकार के खिलाफ़ हो, किसी भी देश के सरकार के खिलाफ़ हो, इनकी बहुमत हो सकती है, इन लोगों को ईडी हो सकता है, बहुत स्टेट पायरेटर्स का पुलिस और क्या क्या हो सकता है, लेकिन डरते हैं लोग, वो डरते हैं हम लोगों से, वो डरते हैं हमारे संघर्षों से, वो डरते हैं क्योंकि हम सोचते हैं, और आज Meanwhile, this is what my colleagues Srinivasan Jain and Manas Roshan reported from inside the JNU campus. They were there all night. This was at 1.30 this morning morning when these five of JNU accused students, all of them, they surfaced. Just standing outside the administration block, uh, we rushed here when we heard this news earlier in the evening. Uh, it was uh, a, a sudden piece of news that came that the students who had been on the run and who were accused had started to surface. And uh, amongst them, of course, uh, the students that we know and who we've seen ourselves who are here uh, include Umar, Umar Khaled, of course, is here. There's Anirban, there's Ashutosh, right. Ram Naga, Anand Prakash. Anand Prakash. So at least five of uh, the total of 15 kids who've been named in the uh, both part of the FIR and, and, and the police that investigation. More here, but we haven't been able to confirm their presence right. ourselves. Yeah. At so least at least so these it. are... Uh, students are here. Now, uh, the students have made it clear that the idea is to mount a kind of collective presence, a show of solidarity to say that, look, uh, if the police come and arrest us, they're going to do this together. Uh, it's going to be a joint uh, exercise. They want to show that the attempts made to try and divide them and create the sense that some of them uh, are, are sort of in quote-unquote more guilty than the others, they're going to resist that, particularly right. with the case of Umar Khalid. So I think that's the effort here. Now, uh, the speeches that we've heard them make so far are very strong speeches. They say that uh, basically uh, they're not going to uh, yield to any sort of pressure yeah. uh, to uh, uh, you know, show any kind of division. RSS, they're, they're very much speaking out against the RSS and also the police action, which they say is excessive right. uh, and has been very, very... Uh, um, kind of harmful to the university. Right. Uh, so they have said that they, they've clarified that they've, they're not the ones seen making those slogans, that they are innocent, yes. and also they are against this kind of a reaction from the state. 
Well, our focus remains on JNU and our reporters are panned across uh, inside uh, JNU campus and also outside. Sunil Prabhu is outside, Manas Roshan is inside. Uh, Manas, I want to start uh, with you. Of course, uh, you've already said uh, throughout this morning and late night, uh, you've been there the whole night. Uh, give us a sense of uh, how first the, the, the students out there were not willing to talk to you, not just those who have been charged with sedition, but also others. And now what is the latest? I, I, I understand there is something happening. Give us uh, the latest. Yeah, Amitur, so uh, as we were telling you last night, the students, both uh, Umar and his group of four others uh, who have been saying that they will court arrest, them as well as the student body here that's come out in support, they're not going to talk to us because they do want to speak out as a unified voice when the police do come to arrest them, if they do come, that is. Uh, so they gathered here at 7 p.m. last night. Uh, Umar was here, there was Anirban and also three others with them. Uh, and they gathered with at least 500 other students from JNU, shouting slogans, uh, 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 talking, speaking out against the police action that happened with Kanaya Kumar and also the violence that followed in the courts. Uh, and what they claim is a media trial against them. Since then, they've been saying that they're out here, they're in the open, they're not hiding, they're not uh, going underground. And in fact, they're right here accepting that the police can come and arrest them whenever they want. Uh, now, what we've observed is that through the night they waited here and most of the students did as well for hours together. Uh, now the crowds have dwindled, as you can see, to about uh, under 100 people. Uh, and as the sun rose and the protesters woke up, uh, we're still to hear from the administration or the police here in the campus. Uh, what we did see was that the police did arrive at the gates last night and they refused to come in. They said that till we get permission, we're not going to come in, though they had done that uh, on the 12th of Feb when they picked up Kanaya Kumar. But this time they're not going to do that and they probably expect the students to come out or the vice chancellor to take some kind of decision. Uh, this morning I spoke to the registrar, Mr. Zucci, uh, and he said that he hadn't heard about any of this till this morning uh, from media reports and that they will now come and meet at 9 a.m. That's going to be a meeting here at the administrative block where there will be the vice chancellor, there will be the registrar and also some high-ranking officials of the university. And then they'll come to a decision whether to even meet the students or not, then talk to the police. So we don't know what's actually happening uh, so far. Uh, at the gates, as our other reporters of NDTV will tell you, right. uh, there's no police presence as of now. But we are the only camera crew here that does have a live unit and is streaming straight from the administration. Right.